NZX's video series on New Zealand milk price futures and options. Today I'm joined by NZX's Catherine Jaggard, who's here to talk to us about these products. Catherine, could you start by telling us what are futures and options contracts? So futures in their most basic form are where a buyer and a seller come together to agree a price for goods that will be exchanged at some point in the future. So really a financial tool to set price in advance. Options create a little bit more flexibility for the user whereby the buyer of an option can create unlimited upside potential but limited downside risk. So in this case a dairy farmer might use options to create a minimum price for their milk. And options uh, looked at a bit like an insurance policy and you pay a premium for that contract. You mentioned dairy farmers, are these the types of people who would trade these contracts? Absolutely, so these are the, the kind of people who are hugely exposed to volatility in the global dairy market uh, and would be looking to hedge their milk price risk using these kind of instruments. And how do you go about trading them? So that would be through one of NZX's accredited brokers uh, and the list of those brokers can be found on the website nzx.com or nzxfutures.com. And we often hear you say if you don't understand it, don't trade it. I mean why is it so important to get educated and do your research before trading these products? So these are relatively complex financial tools and the first question that really needs to be asked by any potential user is do I want to manage risk? Do I want to manage risk in my milk price? And if the answer to that is yes, then the next question is how do I do that and how does that fit with my broader strategy in, in terms of my business? And are futures and options right for me? Yep. Uh, and to make that decision you really need to do your research, really understand how these products work. For example, such things as margin need to be considered where margin has to be managed on a daily basis. So important that all of the aspects of the contract are understood. And lastly, Catherine, are these tools being used elsewhere in the world by farmers? They certainly are. So if you look at the United States, uh, for example, uh, futures and options have been available in terms of managing milk price risk there for around 20 years. So dairy farmers can either access the market directly uh, or indeed these futures and options enable processes to offer fixed price milk programs to their dairy farmers. Equally, these kind of products are being developed uh, in Europe and processor, processors are offering fixed price milk programs to their suppliers there. And on a broader scale you see these kind of uh, contracts that have been in existence for in some cases hundreds of years in things like grain, coffee, cocoa and sugar. Thanks very much, so much for joining us Catherine.